Guinea Bissau versus Nigeria. Game has ended 1 0 to the Super Eagles. They are through to the next round. No fuss. The tournament started. They looked a bit shaky and were like, oh, where are Nigeria going to do? What are Nigeria going to do? They can't score goals. Luckily for them, they're not Cote d'Ivoire. <laughs> Let's not even go there. Just, just watch that recap. Um, before I even start this, uh, this, uh, whatever, this recap, I just want to give a big shout out. Big, big shout out to. The um, referee of this game, uh, Moroccan Bon. I need to get her name. I need to get her name. I need to get her name. I feel like she did a really good job. She was quite decisive, quite definitive. When she's telling you something, it's like, yo, it's me. She was. She stamped her authority in the game, and I was. I was impressed because many a time you don't. You don't get, especially when you, once you hit a female referee. And we know we are Africans. We know how our fellow Africans just think women cannot do anything in sport, right? So for Kaf to put her out there and show that she's very competent and so good at what she does, I am so proud of her. Bushra Karbubi, I think that's her name, Bushra Karbubi. Um, she refereed this game and obviously she was also a referee in the Women's World Cup. She ref two games, Costa Rica versus Zambia and USA versus Vietnam. And... The entire crew was actually all female. I, d- I don't have the names of the two linesmen, but lineswomen, assistant referees, let me call them that. Um, but yo, I'm so proud of them and keep going, keep going. Let's do this. All right, so Equatorial Guinea, uh, sorry, Guinea-Bissau versus Nigeria. The game has ended 1-0. Um, obviously, the game was happening at the same time as the Cote d'Ivoire game. It was hard to keep pay attention to this game because the other game was fire, fire. Um... The game ended with um, an own goal. So Guinea-Bissau scored an own goal. It was this young man. What's his name? What's his name? Opa Sangati, who scored an own goal. Obviously, the game, the, the, the goal came from a long ball that came to Moses Simon. Moses Simon started this game as well. Iwobi was benched for this game. Um, got the ball on the wing and then uh, did some... One two one two. There, there was a header that no it went to someone else, and there was a header that went to Moses Simon, and then Simon just cut to his left foot, crossed, and the cross was so beautiful to Osimhen that the defender could not do anything but just put his leg there, and that is how Guinea Bissau scored. The rest of the game for me, my notes is just full of Osimhen, 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 Osimhen. Yeah, he was getting into very good positions. I feel like that ball going over over the defense to him was always on. There was a chance he had towards the end of this first half. Um, it was just a bit high, a bit high, so he, he, he got his head to the ball, but it was it, it was hard to control. So really didn't blame him for that. But then second half started. There was a long ball that went to Chukweza, Chukweze, and then Chukweze miscontrols the ball. Samo Osimen gets the ball back, lays it off to Chukweze. Chukweze then lays it very beautifully to Moses Simon, who then has a one on one. And just misses it. Literally just misses it. And I'm like, guy, what are you doing, bro? What are you doing? Um, which will have made it 2-0. Again, Ossiman, a few minutes later, Ossiman scores to make it 2-0. But the ball came off his hand. So it was ruled handball. Goal was disallowed. Um, then, obviously, Iwobi became on for Aribo. Again, Ossiman, 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 missing another chance. <laughs> like, this dude was just, he was just frustrating. But good thing is, at least he's showing up. At least you're seeing him. His presence is being felt. Like, in as much as he's not scoring, he's missing and whatever, the defenders have to pay attention to him because he's causing havoc as a striker. So, I'll give him that. Then, um, then, uh, then who scored? Then Guinea Bissau scored again. Franculino scored. The ball came off to, like, there was a nice pass laid off to him and then he was one of the keeper and just finished beautifully well. But then it was disallowed for offside, which was rightfully so, rightfully disallowed for offside. And then literally, like, three seconds later, Zaidu scores, the sub, Nigerian sub scores, and then it's also disallowed for an Osimen handball. And I was just like, Osimen, yes, you're doing, you're everywhere, but... <laughs> Impact. You need to impact the goals. At least he's impacting winning. That's the, that's the thing, right? He's there. He's impacting winning. He's only gotten one goal in this tournament, but he's causing havoc and he's impacting winning. He's actually what he's doing is actually um, impacting winning. So he did. He did. He did okay. Like I'll I'll give him that. But all in all, Nigeria qualify for the round of 16. No fuss. They finished. They finished second in the group behind Equatorial Guinea, who uh, just did 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 a thing, man. Just did a thing against the hosts and yeah 
this is how the group looks like. Equatorial Guinea in first place, seven points. Nigeria in second place with seven points, uh, having won two games and drawn one. And then Cote d'Ivoire in third place with a minus three goal difference. They are waiting to see how the other groups go, but it's looking bleak. And Guinea-Bissau, who gave it their all today and actually really fought. I, I believe all their games were, I mean, other than the Equatorial Guinea one, the other two games, they really gave they really gave a game to these other two teams. Um, they managed to score two goals as well, which was, I think, the first time they scored in... I'm not sure. I may be guessing. That's a, I may be guessing that statistic. But at least they got on the score sheet. They're getting that experience, and it's good to see them keep playing. They really gave Nigeria a scare towards the end, and they were very close to snatching. They had a few opportunities, uh, a few good saves, a few shots that went wide, but they under, and disallowed goals, you know? So... This game, by the way, had three disallowed goals. The other game had two disallowed. There were five goals disallowed in Group A alone. Um, but yeah, that's how the group ends. And those two teams, the Guinea and Nigeria, move on to the round of 16. And Cote d'Ivoire have to wait their fate. <laughs> 